sorry, we just got the rear differential reconnected back onto the subframe. It's going to be spraying underneath the base with an undercoat and then installing that. All right, so we got the rear subframe reinstalled, diff fluids changed, cradle bushings all installed. Looking good. So I got the inside all gutted out, basically. Seats are out. I am going to be finishing vacuuming this side. I already did this side. I'm gonna be shining up all the inside, cleaning it all up. Carbon fiber officially all finally installed. So the car will be all back together on the inside here soon. So we're back. It's Monday the 20th. Uh, we just got done installing the new rocker panels that I got painted. About to be installing the new side skirts. I haven't been getting many videos recently because we've been doing a lot of work. Just some recaps of what we have done. All suspensions in. Exhaust is in. Everything's in underneath there. Uh, so, oh, sorry. We are about to be installing the other side rocker panel. And then putting the fender liner back in soon. Hopefully we will have the front bumper on by Friday. Uh, all right, so not sure if you could tell, but besides the wheels being on, side skirts installed, got those in, car is coming along great, so needs are in the way, you can see that side, but yes sir, took it for a little test drive today, and felt nice next Monday we will be uh, taking it in for an alignment getting it inspected waiting for them front pieces to come in well not come in but finish being uh, painted and buffed and sanded and everything so hopefully in a couple days we'll be all together So my phone, as it has been before, terrible. I don't understand what is going on. So we lost all the footage from Chevy Fest, all of the footage from the Humble Hooning meet, and then the other meet that I went to that day. I forget which one it was, but it was just a small one. Oh, it was uh, Slam Jam. Anyways, so we lost all those videos. Uh, if you are interested, check out my Instagram. Uh, I'll have it somewhere right here, or in the bio uh you can check it out i have uh highlights all on my instagram so it'll uh pretty easy to navigate and then you can see all the stuff that i've seen not as detailed as i was trying to get it for the youtube but hopefully tomorrow this front bumper will be in 
show you what we did today. We got the new diffuser installed. Now this was just a pre... Uh -huh. This is the first time we're trying it, so it's not perfect. I have another bumper that I will be getting painted and this will be going onto it directly so it's not gonna have any of these imperfections. Hopefully, whenever I get the quad exhaust, it'll uh, look a lot better. But as of right now, I really do like the way that this diffuser looks. It gives it more of an aggressive look. And especially far away, you can actually see the fins going down. So those look sharp. All right, it's a hot one today at Tom Sullivan's garage. <laughs> we are working on the front bumper today. Finish got painted. Now we're we'll trying to get all these yeah, front grills on and riveting back in all of the old placement pieces. All right, so as the sun goes down, I'm heading out. Some good work today. Uh, we got the front bumper hanging. It is not secured. We got all the lights in, grills all secured. I'll tell you what though, these look sharp. I really do like those. It makes it just a little darker in the front, so. Like that smoked out look. But yeah, very excited with the progress we got done today and looking forward till tomorrow and Sunday. Get this alignment on Monday so I can get it inspected. Three days later. Well, I got the car back up. Did not pass inspection. Technically didn't even get the alignment or the inspection done before. Well, you'll be able to see it super shaken out because it's loose, but the knuckle needs replaced. This bearing, this bushing went bad right here. So it gives it a lot of wiggle. And there's more wiggle now because it's barely on, but the other side's tight. So I'm going to be changing this knuckle on this side. Oh. Um, the only thing I will need to do whenever I put the new one in, let me get out of here. This is going to need taken out of this knuckle. I will have to retake out the old bushing on the new knuckle, reinstall the BMR uh, trailing arm bushing on that. So hopefully uh, that'll be here tomorrow morning. I spent a little extra on the expedited shipping to get that here tomorrow. And then I'm changing, uh, I don't even know where it's at. This is getting changed, these uh, sway bar end links. This one up here failed the inspection. This sway bar end link, the bushing is bad down there. Can't see it, see it here yet. It's not the best looking, you really can't tell. But change that. Another thing was that my fog lights are acting up. I don't know if it is the relay in here that's causing it to mess up or what, but it's like causing this front fog light to, to act up, which is causing the tail lights to act up. So maybe it's a relay problem. Maybe it's the lights in general, but tonight we will diagnose it in the dark to see if the auto functions working properly. Daddy, you enjoying the sun? Yeah. You enjoying the sun? All right, so we're back at it. To pass the inspection, we need to get some good sway bar end links. Got two new ones in the back. Two new ones in the front. 
Now, all I'm waiting for is the rear knuckle for this wheel. So we can get this last piece all together and then take it in for an inspection. All right, so in the back, placing the knuckle, got it all taken apart it again. Center hub, place the center hub, ring patch. So we got the new knuckle in. You can see that. I installed the trailing arm bushing. I'm trying to reconnect the e brake now. Man, is this car clean! I'm so excited to get this thing back on the road. I drove it for a second yesterday, felt smooth. Right now I'm going to be washing the car and installing these little cutouts that I have bought online to just make it look like there's vents there. So sit back and relax and enjoy the cleaning. It's all cleaned up. Go ahead and dry them off. This car is so beautiful. All right, so we're dropping the car off for the four wheel alignment now and the inspection. Should pass. Should be all right on the alignment. I gave him some special numbers to run for a street setup. So it's just a little tighter than OEM, I should say. But, yep. All right, so it is currently the day after. Uh, yesterday I had failed my emissions for my car so they weren't able to inspect my car uh, whenever I was working on my car the battery on my car died so we changed the battery and now 
while the car needs to drive 200 miles before it can be ready for the O2 sensor. I, I wasn't understanding what he was saying, but so I'm driving 200 miles. I've already put 68 on that the technician changed my octopus from a mad face to a happy face. How are you gonna fail my car for the emissions and then try to make me happy with that? That, that, that doesn't work.